says that Leah says to herself that I'm going to have some babies for this man because if I have babies for this man that maybe he'll love me so her first son Reuben she she said I would name him Reuben because the Lord has heard and saw that I've, I've been by, I've been hated and, and therefore he's blessed me with this first son now my husband would love me but she came to something amen she came to the conclusion that her husband still wasn't loving her even though she had the first child the second child she had she said now my husband will surely love me but she came to the conclusion and to the sad reality that her husband wasn't loving her the way she wanted her to love love her even after the second child the bible says up to three children that Leah had and yet Jacob still did not love Leah this was a complex situation for Leah and you can imagine the emotions that she was going in between the bible then says that Leah comes to the, to the point here that she decides that her last child she will call him Judah everybody say Judah. See, because Judah means giving birth then to praise. She gave birth to praise and she says, now I will praise God. In other words, Leah decided I'm not going up and down between these emotions no more because after all, I'm not trying to please man because pleasing man will only consume me. It will consume every part of me. It will cause me to be depressed. It will cause me to be anxious. It will cause me to be up one day and down the next. And so as a result, Leah say, I ain't doing it no more. I'm not going through these emotions no more. And so now her situation, though it was complex, brought her to the point where she started to get content. And as a result of her pain, she birthed praise. And so as a result then, we see that uh, we can get caught up in emotions when we find ourselves then trying to please people. So as Leah was trying to do, she was trying to please Jacob. Amen. So when we find ourselves internally and externally going through things, we come to the place where we'll find ourselves because we're so emotional, first of all, trying to please people rather than doing what's right for us. So emotions that bring you to a place where you try to please people, but rather than doing what's right for you and pleasing people can consume you. Hear me? Pleasing people can consume you. And I've discovered three things in, 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 in going through these emotions. Leah discovered three things. First of all, the lessons that she, she discovered is that there's a lesson in every situation to learn from. In other words, everything you go through is because God wants you to learn from it. As a matter of fact, if you go through things and don't learn from it, you will find yourself going through with it over and over again. That's why it took Leah up to three times to realize that this man ain't a lover just because she hugged his kids. And so as a result, we find Leah went through the same situation three times, but the third time, she says, you know what, I learned my lesson. And as a result, she says, listen, I ain't about Jacob no more, I ain't about pleasing God. Because at the end of the day, that's the only one that remains constant when emotions keep changing. Then, the other thing she found out is that we shouldn't let our situations limit us or lock us in. In other words, in her emotions, she could have feel worthless because here it is, this man that she loved didn't love her. She could feel unvalued, unappreciated. But what happens is we find out that we allow our circumstances to define us. We allow the situations we go through to define us. And so now emotionally, you'll be a wreck. And we, we a wreck and we, 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 we find the depression starts to take place in our hearts and in our minds. And we come to the place where our situation now starts to define us. We feel like because of what's going on, that's who we are. But we learned that our situations does not define us because even though Jacob didn't love Leah, God loved Leah. Because the Bible says that God shut up Rachel's womb and opened it up for Leah. Why? Because he saw how mistreated Leah was. Amen. And so guess what? Your situation doesn't define you or um, if you allow it to define you, you will allow it to confine you. So when you don't allow your situation to define you, what you're saying is this situation will not confine me from being who God has called me to be. I will I'll allow my circumstance to limit me. I'm better than what I'm going through, even though I'm going in through these emotions. The third thing she discovered is that God has no limits. Everybody say, God has no limits. Amen. God has all power in his hands. Amen. She realized that God was able to do all things but fail. Jacob was in love enough, but God was love enough. Amen. The Bible says that her last son, she called him Judah. In other words, now I'm going to give God praise because she realized something that emotions come up and emotions come down, but God always remains constant.